Today's words of the day are organized in category. Can you say organize? Can you say category? <clears throat> Has your mom ever asked you to clean up your room? When you clean your room up, you organize things into categories. You put toys into a toy box and clothes into drawers. Billy Ray is here today. Billy Ray is here to stay. Huh? What are you guys doing here? We're learning about the words organize and category. Uh, well, what's that camera for? It's to teach the little children. You mean there's little children in that camera? It's me, Billy Ray! <laughs> well, let's get back to those words you're learning about. You said, let's see, um, organize and category? Let me think. Hmm. I'm not so sure I know what those words mean. Then you can come along with us and Could learn I? Them. I'd love to come along and learn. All right, let's do it. Well, here we are in the kitchen, but... Hannah, what do we organize in the kitchen? In the kitchen, you organize your utensils. Utensils? That sounds like some kind of French word or something. Utensils are forks, knives, and spoons. Hmm. You organize your forks into one category, your spoons in another, and your knives in the last category. We even organize big forks from little forks. Oh, that's a good idea. And big spoons from little spoons. Huh. So by organizing our utensils, when it's time to use them, we know where to find them, and we can get to them easier. Is that right? Exactly. Huh. I never thought about that. Let's see what else we can learn about organizing in categories. All right, now we're here in Claire's room. But Claire, taking a look at this room, I'm not sure what you organize here. In my room, I organize my drawers. Hmm, could have fooled me. Anyway, go ahead. Like in this drawer, I put in all of my shirts. That's a good idea. It includes long sleeve shirts, too. In this drawer, I put all of my shorts. Hmm. In this little thing, I put all of my pants. Hmm. That includes pajama pants, too. Oh, what about this drawer here? <laughs> is that where your underwear is? That is where I put... No, we don't need to see that. You can close items. that down. Now, do you always organize things by, like, shirts and pants and socks and stuff? Do you ever organize things differently in your drawers? Sometimes I organize them by outfits. Like I could put one, one shirt and one pair of pants together so when I wake up all I have to do is pull out this. Oh, well that's a good idea. Or I organize things from summer clothes to winter clothes. Hmm. That's a good idea, too. So, there's a whole lot of different ways you can organize things into categories. Yes, there are. Hmm. I learned something. Thank you, Claire. You're welcome. So now I'm down here with Jack in the basement, and he's going to tell me a little bit about how he uses organization to put his toys into categories. So, Jack, what do we have here? These are drawers, and this, and this is a Power Ranger drawer. So in the top drawer, you put your Power Rangers? Yeah. Oh. And in this drawer, I put my big guys. All the big guys. So all kinds of different guys are in there, just the big ones. Yeah. And what do you got down here? Polly Pockets. Polly Pockets. Now, do you play with Polly Pockets a lot? Uh, no. Oh, but just in case, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. What do we have over there? Legos. Oh, all your Legos go in here. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. So that helps you find your toys when you're looking for them, right? Uh -huh. And also, you can just look at the organization you have here to kind of remember what you have, right? You can just kind of look at the drawers and say, I got some Power Rangers, and I got some big guys, and I got some Legos. So it helps you remember what you have, too, right? Uh -huh. Huh. 
That's pretty good. Well, Jack, I learned a lot about how to organize things, especially with your toys. Thanks a lot, Jack. Hi, y'all. It's me, Billy Ray. I've certainly learned a lot from those whiz kids. Dang young, they're awfully smart. I thought maybe I'd take you here to my garage and show you a little bit about how I organize things into categories. Here's my workbench, and over here are my tools. I keep my tools in these drawers. For instance, in this drawer here, I keep my screwdrivers. Wait a minute, that's not a screwdriver. That's my underwear. How did that get in there? Anyway, like I was saying, I keep my screwdrivers here. Down here, I keep some wire. Wait a minute, that's not wire. That's a banana. Huh. Don't know how that got in there either. But here's my wire. And then finally up here in this drawer, I keep my scissors. So you see, by organizing my tools into categories in these here drawers, then I'm able to find the tool I need for the job. So I come in here, I grab the tool, and I get to work. And that's how I organize things into categories. Today, we learned about organizing things into categories. And by organizing things into categories, it makes it easier for you to find things when you need them. It also helps you remember what you have. Goodbye from the Wiz Kids. Cut.